How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. I tell you, honey, isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character. Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the Chief a little. It's not a deal. Wait, so they don't even want me here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. I don't know if I can do this, Char. Hey, now. My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Watch it, human. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The Blood Pack only recruits Krogan. You again. I told you the Blood Pack only wants Krogan. Go flash your smooth skin somewhere else. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Turians who's boss. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijaks feast on the mother still alive. Ah! use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grun's problem. Were you around when the female camps and the children over last week? 
No. I was off dealing with a Varen attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. You don't want anything I sell, human. It'll tear your insides like you swallowed knives. Good, Varen. I talk to hates that aliens are inert not except you I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do what do you have in stock most of its food and drink that's toxic to humans Rin calls a local favorite don't try to act tough it'll tear your insides apart he's not joking Rin call hits aliens like ground glass Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. One of the children, probably five years from the right. He had my eyes, I think. Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. The sun. Good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Vile. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Shepard, we would have shot any other alien out of the sky, but you, we give the respect to our most powerful enemies. You destroyed Vermeer. You saved us from becoming Saren's minions, but you also destroyed a cure to the Genophage. But more than that, you killed Erdnot Rex. I am clan leader Erdnot Reeve. Rex was my brood brother. I wish there had been another way. He was a valued member of my crew. Human sentiment tastes like piss. Don't spoil a death with it. Especially one as useful as this. With his death, Rex's friends became my friends, and Clan Erdnot fell to me for the better. He had troubling ideas. We are better off with a leader who respects tradition. You can't speak for me, Uvenk. So, Shepard, what do you want here? How many members are in your clan? Don't let this border camp fool you. We are many. The bulk of our forces are in the main settlement, and the females have their own clan. You won't see any of it. I don't think I've ever seen a female Krogan. You never will. They have their own camps, their own guards. We have an envoy from the females in the camp right now. Name's Natorth. He can decide what to tell you about the females. You were Rex's brood brother. You two didn't agree on leadership? We were born of the same female, but a decade apart. Rex wanted to unite the clans. He wanted to deny tradition to stabilize our species. He was a fool. 
Krogan only grows stronger if the weak die in battle. He would have made us smooth like the Asari. Do you all live underground? Is the surface that inhospitable? Tachanka and the Krogan live together in war. The planet hates us, and we hate it. See for yourself. Brave the barren, war-torn wastelands, and discover the world that made the Krogan powerful enough to threaten the galaxy. Who's this? I thought you leave the clan alone. Uvenk is from Clan Gatatog. Our clans have fought to a standstill. So we've come to a temporary understanding. A brief joining. Erdnot is senior, for the moment, as is traditional. For the moment, yes. <laughs> we'll see. You don't call this a true alliance? Both clans have shown their strength. For the moment, neither clan can win, so we turn our attention elsewhere. As soon as one clan shows weakness, the stalemate ends. The survivors will produce stronger, smarter Krogan. This has always been the way. I heard the Blood Pack brought a Salarian here. Know anything about that? Blood Pack? I don't follow the mercenary bands. My scout commander might know something I don't. Whether he will speak to you is his own choice. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. This... Krogan smells like a juvenile. Was this clan destroyed before it was taught how to live? I have no clan. I was tank bred by the warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar, Turg, Rend, Violetta. You are the offspring of a syringe, not fit to walk to Chanka. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. You are the product of Okir? He's well hated. He is dead. Too bad. Hate is good. Influential. This is all very interesting, but I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. Nothing so infirm. He's becoming an adult. He must face the rite of passage. I will not allow this. You risk your status, Reeve. Your clan. Do you wish to become Erdnot Grunt? What does the rite of passage require? The shaman will discuss that. Grunt will succeed, or he'll die. Just like the rest of us. You would allow a cloned Krogan to join Clan Erdnot? No, I would not. But Warlord Okir is well known. Grunt could win us some influence. Clan Erdnot can't stay dominant forever. Some of our people will never accept this. We'll have to see how Grunt fares in the right. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If his clan is destroyed, he can be killed without taking the right. And I advise against delaying the right any longer. The right secures clan membership. There is no cure for his mood. He's Krogan. This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Then speak with the shaman. Seek him here and prepare yourself. You as well, Shepard. Grunt is your crew. You are part of this. Put down some real money. Watch it, human!
Eyes straight ahead. Don't touch anything. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. I'm going out into the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Krogan's hit by genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still survive. Yeah, no thanks to you. Or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt, continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Should you be in here? Who are you? I am Fortan, Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdnot. And I don't have time to answer your inane questions. I won't take up much of your valuable time. My work is very important, human. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I'd heard a lot about the genius of Krogan science. Oh, finally someone understands. I swear I am among brainless piejacks here, toiling among satins. I am the Lord High Researcher. You must be working on something important. I am. There are always new ways to destroy things, to melt them, to tear them apart. There's always room for another weapon on Tajonka. I take it you're a scientist. I'm not just a scientist. Without me, those mouth-breathing fools wouldn't have weapons or bombs to kill things with. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. Enjoy your research. Oh, I do? I do? This is valuable. Things would last longer if they didn't hit every crater. Give me a reason. Reeve said we weren't allowed to kill you. Seems like a waste of target practice. What do you want? So, you're in charge of Erdnot scouts? Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. We've got rival clans out there, who want what Erdnot's got. We're always on guard. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide-and-seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan of Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? 
borders. This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can't fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. As for us, we take prisoners if we can. Raise them ourselves. Their clan's loss is our gain. Thanks for the information. Whatever. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Werelock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Werelock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. What can you tell me about Clan Werelock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Werelock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Werelock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Reeve wants victory for our clan. Off-world interference could screw up that plan. But you're a special case, I guess. What's Clan Werelock's reputation, and how are they involved with the blood pack? Tough humps, and they're not friendly like we are. You ever run into the Blood Pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Werelock started it, one of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics, totally devoted to Werelock Guld. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Guld's behind it. What makes Guld so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gold. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members. Like Vorcha. Ha! <laughs> the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. What makes Guld so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people, not me. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Guld. <laughs> 